Hey, welcome to ABC. Come on in. All right, this is our waiting room here. So uh, while we install small projects for people, like a fan or windows, or if we just want to sit down and look at some samples, uh, this is a good space for people to sit down. They can work from their laptop, log into the Wi-Fi, or just kind of hang out and watch a movie if they like. Uh, if we come out here onto the shop floor, just be careful. There's probably some power cords and stuff around. Uh, this is our DIY packaging center. So all of the roof racks, all of our deck panels, anything like that, all those get packaged, boxed, and shipped out of this location. Uh, these are our project spots. We have room for two different vans to be built out at any time. Uh, these are our full customer builds. So these are complete interiors that we build here at ABC and then just get it right out onto the road. Here at the back half of the shop, this is kind of the production half of the shop. The front half is for installation, back half is for production. So over here we have all of our electrical and all of our water system pieces and parts. This is where we assemble wire runs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, here we have our big tool cabinet. This is, this is all the stuff that gets the job done here at ABC. Uh, you'll see the CNC behind me, but right here we have our material stacks. So this is the half inch Baltic birch we build all of our cabinetry from. Down below is our quarter inch birch. This is what we build all of our wall panels from. So we just pull from this stock and build all of our cabinets. And to do that, we use the CNC. So this is a four by eight CNC. This is what we prototype all of our materials with and anything that gets built or all of our builds here at ABC get manufactured right here on this CNC. Uh, we have cut project pieces and parts right here. Behind that, we have all of our hardware. So we have job specific boxes. Each box here uh, kind of just is all the things we need for one project. So if we're putting cabinets together, we can grab the cabinet hinge box, go out there, do all the cabinet stuff we need, and then just put it back when we're done. Let's take a look inside the paint booth. So you've probably seen a few videos get filmed right here in the paint booth. Uh, we're really stoked to have this as a, a nice tool for the shop. Ian is doing some glue up on some bed panels right now. Excuse me, Jilly. Uh, right here we have project tables. So this is kind of the outfeed table. Stuart's working on sanding some preliminary stuff for cabinets right now. Uh, down the back hallway, we have all of our spillover parts and all of our bulk stuff. This would be things like heaters that, we've, that have come in, uh, cabinet hinges, cabinet latches, all that kind of stuff that's very job specific. And then over here we have all of our power tools. It's kind of our power tool and charging center. We have all of our high pressure laminates. So all the cabinets that get built here at ABC get a high pressure laminate added to them. So we get to choose custom colors and styles. Uh, and then, you know, kind of the sky's the limit as far as high pressure laminates go, which is a really nice, easy way to customize your, your build. Yeah, that was a quick tour of the shop. Why don't we head outside and take a look at my daily driver. This is a medium roof 148 Ford Transit. Uh, it's a 2019, so it's two wheel drive. Uh, I have a family of four, so I did add an aftermarket seat. Uh, it's just a Ford Transit takeout seat. I have my baby's car seat right here. Uh, right behind the car seat, I do have a Goal Zero panel, so we can set the solar panel outside and charge up. I also have a little board here that we set up on the seat to put baby's pack and play. So when we're camping as a family, we can put her pack and play right here, which is a really great thing. If we step inside, I have uh, a full bank of driver's side overhead cabinets. We keep all of our like kitchen stuff right here, dishes and coffee and you know the essentials. Uh, right behind that, we have our control panel to just turn the lights on and stuff in the van. The next one back, we have some snacks and food and other kitcheny things, clean up stuff, some tissues, more coffee equipment, of course, that's pretty important to us. Uh, I got the little paper towel holder here. We have our little half kitchenette. So we have a refrigerator and a surface to make sandwiches and stuff like that on. And then the big piece of our van is the dinette here in the back. So um, as, a, you know, as a small family, we use this as our mobile dining room. We'll go out to the park and have a snack or have a picnic or something like that. And we can post up in here if the weather gets bad, get out of the sun. Um, or just take a break and, and kind of get out of the exposure. Uh, this whole thing converts to a bed, so we can also sleep inside here. And then we have our hanging bags on the passenger side, and that's what we use to store all of our coats and gear and clothes and all that, and those come in and out of the van as we, we get ready for every trip. Up on the roof, I have an AVC roof rack. I have a couple of deck plates, and I have a rooftop tent. Uh, that is the second bed for the older kid and I, or my buddy if I'm out with friends or something like that. Uh, I don't have solar hard mounted up on the roof. That's why I have a deployable panel. And then, of course, I have the awning mounted to our ABC roof rack. Hi, Julie. I got into the van industry when one of my roommates picked up a ProMaster. I was actually working at a sign shop, and he pulled up. He sold his Honda Element, and he rolled up at lunchtime in this new funky van. It was a ProMaster 136. And uh, he had this crazy idea to build it out and sleep in it. And so we like stayed up late building a teeny little kitchen and we did it all out of one sheet of plywood. 
We built this like tiny little kitchen that bolted to the van because he was afraid to put a screw in the wall, anything like that. We built it around his Coleman stove that he already had. And uh, you know, from there, it's just been up and up. I've always been a maker. I've always been building things and I've always had a car that I can sleep in. I guess in high school, my first car was a pickup truck and I built little boxes over the wheel wells and a bed platform to sleep in. And I go camping on the weekends. I could, you know, I could do anything in my truck. But then when I moved to Colorado, as I mentioned, like I got into building vehicles and going camping and things like that. And it's just a fun challenge, like designing thoughtful configurations and different ways to use a van that, that really make it easy for people to get outside. And that's, that's really what excites me is, is getting people outside and facilitating that. When I'm not at work or we're not building vans, I really like to get out and ride bikes. I'm really into riding gravel bikes and I'm really into riding mountain bikes. I grew up cycling my whole life. And so I really love getting out on two wheels and I, that's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, when we're out camping, I love to do fly fish. And it's been a couple of years because I have a new baby at home, but I do miss being on the river. I love fishing. All right, so I think your van musts are gonna be a comfortable bed, first and foremost. That should be the prime directive of any camper van is a comfortable place to lay down. If you're not comfortable in your bed, change it up. That's gotta be, that's number one. Uh, number two, I think, is a refrigerator. I think having a fridge in a van is such a game changer. You know, after living out of a pickup truck with a cooler and being uncomfortable and having soggy lunch meat or just soggy everything, uh, having a refrigerator that's always on and always cold is awesome. It is so nice and a van can afford that much space and I think it's the best feature of a van. Uh, third after that is gonna be a furnace. So having like an S-bar furnace that is gonna keep you warm at night and lets you extend into all four seasons, go skiing and sleep in the van and be really comfortable is really nice. And I actually don't have one in my van and I really want one, but uh, it just hasn't been in the budget for our personal camper here yet. Um, I think the most overlooked feature of our vans is, is our floor system. Having an insulated floor that's really solid to start your build out is, is key and I think core to a build. And I think it's something that's easily forgotten because it's underneath everything else. The only thing that really comes to mind that you don't need in a van is a TV. I think people always ask to put a screen in a van and it seems really silly because our technology changes so fast and we're gonna have the van a lot longer than our tech is gonna be relevant. So having a TV in a van or something just seems outdated and silly. Uh, if, you, you know, if you really have to stare at a screen, I think bring an iPad or something like that, it's, it's enough. There's a few things that make AVC unique in the market. Uh, the first is that we exclusively focus on Ford Transit. So we're Ford Transit specialists, that's all we build. Uh, the second is that we design and manufacture and build everything in-house. So you know we design and fabricate all within our own doors. Uh, and the third is that we design camper vans to be used, but to get you outside the van. So we don't build vans to keep you in the van. We build vans to get you outdoors. I worked for a couple of the van shops before I started my own. I got a chance to drive a little bit of everything out there. I took trips in different vans. I drove them around town. I drove them to pick up customers, all that kind of thing. Out of all of them, the Ford was my favorite to drive. <clears throat> and then after I switched over, started my own business, I found that some of the details about the Ford were really nice. The heights of them, uh, the engine, and the serviceability all just made a lot of sense to us. Uh, I, think, I think we really like developing DIY products because it makes van life more affordable. Um, if a customer brings their van to us, there's a lot of things they have to pay for that are not directly the van. There's overhead and employees and insurance and rent and all those kinds of things that go into the cost of building out a van here under our roof. But if you're building your van in your driveway, you know, it's, it's gonna be much more affordable. And so, you know, I didn't grow up with money and I think developing products that make it affordable to put a van together and, and really get the maximum amount of value out of that vehicle, because whether you're building it yourself or you're having a professional build it for you, uh, it's a big investment and these things are not cheap no matter what. So the cheaper we can make them, but while still holding up quality is really important to us. And the way we can deliver the maximum amount of value is through our DIY program. Hey, thanks for joining us on our very first Better Know a Builder. I hope you got to learn a little bit about us as builders and what ABC is all about. If you like videos like this, please hit that like button so we know you liked it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so you can join along with us. We'll see you on the next video.